Welcome back guys to tutorial number 12 of the HTML series and in this video we are going to be learning about lists. Now HTML offers us three ways to specify a list of information and the first one is an unordered list. Now in unordered lists each item in the list will be listed using plain bullets and to create an unordered list we make use of a UL tag. Anyway, let's that's enough of talking. Let's see how to put that onto code. Um, I'm going to be explaining lists not related to friends. So let me just quickly create a file called list.html. All right. And let's have the basic. So once again, doc type HTML. We collect this if you have forgotten. Then we have an HTML tag and then a closing HTML tag then we have a head tag and then we have a body tag and then in our body tag is where we write content that needs to be displayed now since we are going to be talking about list and specifically an ordered list let's create a list for our grocery shopping so let's create a header let's say h3 and it says grocery list and under this we are going to have a list of items that we need to purchase so the tag is ul tag which is used to create an unordered list and to specify each list in an unordered list you make use of the li tag which is like list item now our very first item let's say we need bread and then let's say we need eggs and let's say we need cheese so when you go ahead and save it and go to our HTML and CSS folder open list.html then we have a grocery list and each of the list is specified using a plain bullet and that's how you create an unordered list now let's say we are allergic to these bullets so don't worry we have a new we have a few options that can be specified using the type attribute so ul and let's say we have type attribute is equal to circle so save it and if you refresh it then each of the plain bullets are turned into circles another option we have instead of circle is to have square so when you specify square as the value for the type attribute save it go back refresh then we see that each of the item is listed is having a square I don't know what it's called it's, it's having a square and then finally we can have none as a value to the attribute and in that case we don't have any sort of picture next to our item whatsoever and by default our plain bullet is nothing but a disk so when you save it as disk refresh it then you have a disk so anyway that's about unordered list you create an unordered list using a ul tag and these come in handy when the order of the items listed is not particularly important and by default you're going to have a bullet against each of the items and by using the type attribute of the ul tag you can specify either circle square or none of them and there you go that's pretty much it about an order list in the next video let us see how to create an ordered list so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video